Noah and the Ark. By Tammy Waldrop. One day, long, long ago, God was looking down upon all the men and women that he had created, and he saw that they had become extremely wicked. They were robbers. Murderers. Cheats. And in general, not very nice folks. The holy God saw that every thought of man's heart was continually evil. So, with a mighty sigh of grief, he decided to blot out every living thing from the face of the earth. But then, God thought of Noah. Oh, how God loved Noah, for he was a righteous man and walked with God in all his ways. came down to Noah and said, Noah, I am going to destroy all the living and breathing creatures upon the earth. And Noah said, which translates, will you repeat that please? So God said again. And Noah said, Which translates, that's what I thought you said. Then God continued, Yes, Noah, I will destroy the whole earth by bringing a great flood upon it. However, you and your wife, your three sons, and their wives I will save. I will also save two of every kind of animal, bird, and creeping being that is upon the earth, male and female. And you are to gather them together. Now, I want you to build a boat. A very big boat. A very, very big boat. And put all the animals in. Well, Noah was quite overwhelmed by all of this. He looked up to God, spread out his hands, and said, Which translates, So, God gave to Noah all the instructions he needed to build the ark, and soon Noah was busy hammering and sawing. Noah's wife and daughters-in-law helped too. They would go for wood and help take care of all the animals, and during this time his neighbors laughed at him and went on in their wicked ways. After many years, the ark was finally finished. And the Lord God came to Noah and said, It's time! Then Noah, very calmly, with a great deal of organization, went to get his family and the animals to bring them into the ark. in line and very slow. And the kangaroos shook the ramp with their constant hopping.
the squirrels were chattering and always getting out of line. And those crocodiles, well, they kept staring at the ostriches, which made them scream. The monkeys were swinging all over the place. But finally, they all got into the ark, and God himself shut the great door. Then it started to rain. It began with just a few sprinkles. Then it grew stronger. Then it began to pour. And it thundered. And lightning struck. And every living creature on the earth drowned. Except for Noah his family, and the animals safe on the ark. Finally, the rain stopped, but it took 150 days for the water to dry up from the land. In the meantime, there was plenty to do aboard the ark. The animals had to be fed and watered and comforted when they were afraid. But at last, the ark came to rest upon the mountains of Arad. When Noah was sure that the water had all dried up, the great door of the ark was opened. Out came all the animals, happy to be free to roam the earth once more. Noah and his family built an altar and offered upon it a sacrifice of praise to God for his deliverance. Then God set a rainbow in the sky as a symbol of his promise never to destroy the earth again by flood. And every time we see a rainbow, it should remind us of Noah, his obedience and faith in God. God kept his promise to Noah, and he will soon keep his promises to all of us who believe and trust in God.